Hello everyone, Mr. Tomato here. Something completely different. This is Oregon Trail. Um, it's a game I found while looking through my hard drive and I literally just tried recording this and it went really, really badly. So uh, let's hope it goes better this time. This is just coming up because I haven't clicked anything yet. And uh, I'll give you a quick run through of the game. Basically, this is set in, I don't know what year, but it's basically set in the time where people decided to go from the eastern side of America, where people were just colonized along the banks, so they could still trade and all that. And they were trying to travel all over the country and try and colonize the uh, western side of America, and obviously we're heading to Oregon. Uh, yeah, so we'll travel the trail. Uh, this is just kind of backstory. I would read it, but I can't be bothered. It's just basically saying, yeah, you're about to do this stuff that I just told you about. And obviously, I will be this guy. What really happened in the last video to screw me over really annoyed me, because I didn't even know that could happen. We'll have, um, we'll have Tevin here who I've been doing recordings with, and he's, I've known him for years. We have Kieran, who I've also been doing videos with. And now I have two people with the same name. We have Bragi, who is obviously Bradley from The Warriors, and now another friend named Bradley. This is my friend from college, who um, is letting me borrow Ratchet and Clank video, letting me borrow Ratchet and Clank's games, duh. Um, so that I can record them for you guys. So I thought I'd let him join us on our amazing journey for America, which hopefully goes well this time. Um, okay. Now we're basically going to pick our stuff we want. You're supposed to have six oxen, but I'm going to have ten, just to have some spare. You meant to have ten sets of clothing, but just so we can trade some, I'm going to have twelve. Uh, we'll have eight boxes of bullets. And three wagon wheels, you never know, we might get hungry for some chocolate. <laughs> for some reason you can't have four, you can only have three. So if all of our wheels mess up, we're basically fucked. And we'll have 1,400 pounds of food. Um, I hope I pick doctor. Doctor is the job I wanted, because it makes it less likely for people to die from illnesses. Um, this is where we pick when we leave. If you leave too early, you get stuck in mud and the grass hasn't dried up yet, so people are still hung, like all your oxes will die. And if you leave too late, uh, the grass will dry up, die before we get there, and then we'll be stuck in the winter, which we don't want. So we're going to leave in April, which I don't know if is the right time, but that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to keep on filling rations. Our pace will be strenuous. We want to make good time at the moment. Um, health is good so far. Um, and we'll continue. Obviously, this is the little map. I hope this comes out well enough. You might have to go on the main screen to do that. Uh, there's our little wagon. And we're heading towards a river. We're in Kansas River. This is literally where everyone died in my first recording. It went really badly, and it's the most unluckiest I've ever been on this game. We'll continue. It's six and a half feet deep. We could cork it and float it. I took a ferry, and that failed. So we're going to try and float the wagon. What the hell? Nobody was injured and you recovered all your supplies. Okay, that'll do. We made it over, nobody died, everything is cool. So last time Kieran died on the first river and we lost everything. Literally all our food was gone, all our bullets were gone, all the... So we couldn't even hunt for food. All our clothes fell in the war, so we weren't even apparently wearing them, we just decided to throw them in there. Um, big, the, the big blue river crossing, I don't... I'm not going to give a history lesson. It's five and a half feet deep, and we're going to have to cork it. Because five feet is a bit too deep for people to walk across, I think. So we'll cork it, and hope for the best. Don't sink. 
Don't sink. Good. I really don't like these river bits because you can literally screw yourself up so badly. Um, we made it. We made it across. Yay! And uh, we're actually doing quite well for time. Health is good, which is good. We have quite a decent amount of food. And we're here at our first fort. I don't know if they tell you much about this game, but Fort Kearney, as I've learned from other games I've played, um, is basically was set up just to help people across this trail. It was basically supposed to be the starting point so you know you're on your way and they'll give you a little bit of information. Can we talk to anyone? The trails from jumping off places, Independence, St. Joseph, Council Bluffs, come together at Fort Kearney. This new fort was built by the U.S. Army to protect those bound for California and Oregon. Yeah, that's my voice for that guy. It's probably not very good. Um, but yeah, in the second version of this game, this is kind of like the middle version. It was a really old version, back in, with like, really bad graphics for like, I don't really know when it came out, but this is like the middle one. This is like the remake of the first game. And there's a second game afterwards that, um, I've seen someone play, and in that one you can go to California, where they were searching for gold instead of just colonizing. So, we'll... We don't really need anything here, I don't think. We'll carry on. We don't need food or anything, so we'll be alright. It's sunny, and I don't have a bloody clue. I think we're heading up here. So we're going to travel all along these little bits. And it shouldn't take too long, actually, because we're doing quite well. Our health is now fair. So we'll continue going, and we'll check our status when we get to Chimney Rock, I believe this is. So far, no one's dead, and that's good. That's about as good as I can hope. Everyone's fair. We have a decent amount of food. And we'll continue, because fair is not bad, and I want to try and make good time, so I'm not going to change the pace yet. We're just going to keep our keep our asses moving. Oh, Bradley has cholera. Um, <laughs> Kieran has a broken arm and someone stole bullets. Oh, this is going amazing. Um, I had a wagon wheel breakdown, but we were able to replace it. Oh, that went well. Bradley have cholera. Oh, Bradley has cholera. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. And bad shit starts happening. We'll rest for about four days to see if we can fix Bradley's cholera. We're going to have to change the rations to meager. Is Bradley dead? Bradley's not dead, but he still has cholera. Okay, we've changed our rations to meager. Bradley still has cholera, and Kieran has a broken arm. Um, this is good, uh, but we can't stay here and thief stole more bullets. So this means we're going to have to probably buy more bullets. We're not even travelling. Yay, Bradley survived cholera. Which I thought was just like a death sentence. Are we still travelling? Yeah, we are. Okay, Bradley's well again. We lost the trail, so we had to wait a few days. I don't see how we can lose the trail. We're just walking along a green pasture. Obviously, this we're, this is like the easy bit. There's only flatlands. Over here, all these little brown bits, which you think might just be like crap all over the world. Bradley, what? Well, different Bradley this time, but this one was bitten by a snake. Oh, God. Snake bite. We'll rest once we get here. Um, this isn't going very well. I'm still okay. Um, we'll have a rest for a few days. And we're going to have to start hunting soon. I don't know how hunting works in this game, so I might be very bad at it. In fact, I'll probably be bad at it. Bradley's well again. Is Kieran okay yet, or has he still got a broken arm? Kieran, you still have a broken arm. You're letting the team down. We found some wild fruit, though. 
Hopefully that won't poison us. 